Today we're going to have a look how to create a Google Calendar. One of the easiest way is to create a comma separate file in your spreadsheet program. You will have six columns, subject, column B start date, column C start time, column D end date, column E end time and column F location. You need to save this as a .csv file, otherwise you won't be able to upload it in Google Calendars. You can just go, if you need to file save as, over formats, and here under the save as type in the drop down box, you will select your comma delimited file. You can close Excel. Log into Google Calendar if necessary. First step we're going to do in Google is to, under My Calendars to go and create a calendar. It's a name, we're going to call it 2010 Super 14 Rapid Tournament. Give it a description. Location we're going to put in South Africa. Since enough in my file I've been working on the South African times, I'm going to leave my time zone and I'm going to make this calendar public so that I can share it. And you can click on create calendar. I want to make it public so I say yes. The next is to add the details of the calendar entries and that is where we will import the file that that has been created as a .csv file, comma separated file. Under other calendars, click on add import calendar, select the 2010 Super 14 Rapid Tournament from it. You need to browse to the directory where you've uploaded the file. Open import, this is going to take a bit of a while. Here we've got a message, we can close it. Where you'll be able to see the entries. Now the next thing we want to do is to get the calendar ID. Click under settings, select your calendar file and if you scroll down you're going to have to copy this ID and we will use it a bit later. can actually sign out of Google from here. We now have the Google Calendar Event Publisher Guide. I'm going to scroll down until you see here let people save events from your site. And here you're going to paste in your Google Calendar ID. Just click on the button. And we're just going to copy the hyperlink port. If you want to put it in your website you can actually copy the entire code. But yeah, I just copied the hyperlink port for the reason to show you how it works. Give a hyperlink to your friends. They will see the message to add it. Voila! It's the boom. That is it.